welcome back. Today I'll be making some mushroom bacon, or you could call them mushroom chips, and you only need two ingredients. Let's get started. If you're looking to make some crispy and delicious bacon like mushrooms, King Oyster and King Trumpet are the mushrooms for you. If you want a crispy texture, the first thing you're going to have to do is to slice your mushrooms into extremely thin slices. And one of the best ways to achieve that is by using the 3mm slicer on your mandolin. For the best results from your mandolin, trim off the bottom of your mushroom so you can start with a more even surface. Keep these and use them in a future dish. Using your mandolin, slice your mushroom starting from the bottom. While slicing the mushrooms, you definitely run into a situation where the mandolin wouldn't slice the mushrooms all the way through. This is easy to fix. All you have to do is grab a paper towel or a cloth and wipe down the slicer. So, what you want to do is carefully wipe off any stuck on bits of mushrooms on both sides of the slicer. As you can see, there's a tiny bit of mushroom stuck all the way in there. I'll make sure to get that too. Once I'm done, I'll resume slicing. In order not to slice off your fingers, it's safer to stop when you get closer to the head of the mushroom. The head of a king oyster mushroom is where most of the flavor is packed. It's quite similar in taste and texture to a portobello mushroom. A second method and my favorite method is to use a white pillar to peel off the skin of the mushroom. A white pillar is much more comfortable to hold and it will ensure you get thin and even mushroom peels. Grab your mushroom and just start peeling it like you're peeling a potato. If you want longer skins, start from the neck to the bottom. Keep peeling until the entire mushroom from the neck to the bottom is as thin as a pencil. Once you're done, you should get something like this. And as you can see, these are way thinner than what we got with the mandolin. They'll cook and crisp up way quicker. As promised, you only need two ingredients, your mushrooms and some sea salt. Throw your mushroom slices in a large bowl, add some sea salt and gently toss. You don't have to, but you can let the mushroom sit for an hour before you cook. In a large pan set to medium heat, you want to add some avocado oil. Once it's hot, add your mushroom slices. Now, you want to carefully spread them apart so they don't stick. Let it cook until it turns a deep golden brown color. Now, let me show you how to make this in an air fryer. Add your mushroom slices to a parchment paper, then oil both sides. Air fry at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 7 to 10 minutes. If you want to add other spices, you can go ahead and add them, but I promise you, salt alone is enough. If you'd like to cook it in an oven, you can add some oil and bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. After about 2 to 4 minutes, your mushrooms should be golden brown and should be ready. Any darker than this, your mushrooms will turn out bitter. As you can see with your own two eyes, these turned out really good. It's not just the color that's doing it for me, it's the taste and the texture. This is pure magic. Movie night, here we come. So this is the fried version, and I'm not gonna lie, it's my favorite when compared to the baked and the air fried versions. The baked and air fried versions are also crispy, but they turned out more like potato chips. 
These will make a really good potato chips replacement. Anyway, thanks for watching and let me know in the comment section which version you prefer. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next week.